The next smartphone evolution is officially here. What's up guys, so in the smartphone game, the race to achieve the underskin camera is a big thing. Almost every brand is working towards it, including Apple. For the first time, someone out there is mass producing the under display camera solution. Yes, the company called as Vision Nox. They are one of the display manufacturers in China and apparently they have made a solution of the underscreen camera and they're gonna mass produce it. And based on that, we could see the first smartphone with underscreen camera pretty soon. It's been reported that their solution is based on a transparent OLED panel that gets enough light to the sensor so that you have a good selfie camera experience just like a normal phone. And now it's to the point where it's gonna be mass produced. So we could actually see the first smartphone using this solution pretty soon. In fact, there's already a phone from a company called as Vmart. This is a Vietnamese brand. This video was posted on Twitter by a number of users and it's basically showing off a non-flagship looking phone with an underscreen camera that is working fine. I believe this is one of the prototypes of the phone. So this could be the world's first phone to have an underscreen solution. But with that being said, it's important to note that not all solutions are created equal. We don't want a bad underscreen selfie camera experience. The main goal here is to get enough light to the selfie camera sensor so that there is no problem with the image result. It's very important for these brands to have the best quality standard when making the underscreen camera solution. It's more about having the best solution, not about who is first. Now further information on Vivo has revealed that next year we'll see a number of different phones using underscreen camera and Snapdragon 875. The Snapdragon 875 chipset is said to be cheaper than Snapdragon 865 because of the integrated modem. And interestingly, these phones with underscreen camera, they may not be from big brands, so they could be from like Xiaomi or Xiaomi sub-brand or Huawei sub-brand. They all are working on this. We already have this example from this brand named Vmart. They already have an underscreen solution on their phone, something we don't have on any other major big brand phones. Now, if they can pull this off, then best believe Samsung has something prepared as well. After all, the Galaxy S21 will come sometime in 2021. We could see this coming in March of next year. So Samsung has plenty of time to iron out all the bugs. We have heard late last year that Samsung is already doing its testing. The whole inactive area too is in the works that allows the light to pass through the display pixels towards the camera. Then we heard that Samsung is working on using a big large front camera selfie sensor that can get maximum light, a sensor that is even bigger than the main camera sensor of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I'm sure Samsung don't want to rush things, they do want to nail this perfectly. They've been the first one to do the hole punch on OLED panel. Right now they're gonna be the first brand to feature a LTPO 120Hz display on the Galaxy Note 20 and Fold 2. And for the future with Galaxy S21, Samsung could provide the best best underscreen camera solution. So all in all, I gotta say, things are looking really exciting. I have to say, Vision Ox is pulling off something that I did not expect to happen really, really soon. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.